ain't fun. The amount of apparels they may have created to make this whole thing matter. Jeebus. 8-bit <laughs> Volvi. Jeez. The, the Volvers isn't too long. Oh, that's alright. It, it depends on how long is too long. Because sometimes it's like 5 minutes. In the, in the past, it's been like... Sometimes it's 10 minutes. Sometimes, most of the time, I've never seen it gone further than 20. Um, but they do involve a lot of story. So a lot of this isn't... You're, wa you're not watching most of this for... You, you are just watching this for the showcases, but the showcases are like so few and far between because it's because it's such a small dev. They did Cult of the Lamb, if you didn't already know. Um, so they've got like a good they've got a good hot plate of games, but their main thing that you come in for is it's video games. Why are you taking this? It's what if Mega sixty four had a budget and they made games at the same time? That's what Devolver Digital sounds more like. Are they? Is it fifteen years old technically? I guess it is. Um, 2019, 2009, 2008 is when the first one came up. Man, that must be so insane to be around for that long. I'm quickly checking Twitter for a moment. Why is Hachi trending? Good news, the Plucky Squire is coming out this year. <laughs> Bad news, the release date isn't in this show. Wow. That's quite a take. So what do you think is the best in show so far? Is it something that's going to be in... The Devolver Direct, Devolver Digital Direct, or uh, in the 3D. Oh my god, they could have done that. Neither is Silk Song because we aren't publishing. Ah, <laughs> uh, well done, well done. <laughs> well done. I like how it's. Please don't turn this off. <laughs> That is amazing. Honestly, that is the biggest. <laughs> I feel like this is the... You know like how every series has like a copium series? Um, Silk Song is slowly becoming... Um, slowly becoming Duke Nickel Forever. But there's definitely a release date for Angerfoot, almost certainly. I'm guessing Angerfoot is not real. I, l I love all this. This is so dumb. And I love it. I'm here for it. Just watch this show and wishlist some games after. That sounds good. I can't believe they've made the countdown interesting. I can't believe they've somehow managed to make the countdown interesting. Imagine this being your first time seeing it and no one knows what these references are. It's like, you don't know, man. You went there at the beginning, how unhinged it could be. By the way, I hope the volume is okay. Let me know if I'm too quiet or too loud. People ask me what I like to do with my free time. I tell them that these days... I'm afraid I really don't have any free time. Sounds about right. My life is pretty much scheduled down to the minute. Okay, I don't have a job per se, and I'm not in a relationship right now, but I do have my interests. Wow. He's a big Volvi fan. 
I guess you could say I am passionate, maybe even a little obsessive, about Devolver video games. When I think about the many enjoyable hours I've spent playing my games, I say to myself, what a wonderful world it is we live in. Wow. And I say thank you. Thank you to all those who have made my life so damn fun. Hotline Miami. Piku Niku. Wait, is that FNAF? And that's why today is so important to me. Today is a special day. Today is Volvi's birthday. A chance How he to managed to get that. appreciation for somebody who has given me so much over the years. Take Call to the Lamb, for example. A roguelike video game developed by indie studio Massive Monster and published by Devolver Digital. The game was released on the 11th of August 2022 and has sold over 4 million copies to date. The game follows is he gonna a kiss? lamb who was saved from death by a godlike stranger named the one who waits and must repay their debt by creating a loyal following in its name. It received three nominations at the 19th Player of the What is that? What the hell? Unholy Alliance. That looks very matrixy. Valvinia. Yes, Robotia. And if my calculations are correct, this big toxic slime will reach the city center. People forget that putting on a good party can be a lot of work. It's a lot of pressure. Everyone is relying on you as the host to get things right. You don't want to humiliate yourself, do you? Not in front of him. Wow. The Crush House is crushing it. What the, what as the, the hell? <laughs> number one reality show. And things are heating up this week. The insatiable fans, beloved sponsors, and savvy network execs won't believe what's in store for our cast of potential lovers and haters. Monday. Seize the tension between Priscilla and B finally boil over into an explosive confrontation into a steamy moment by the pool tuesday is a bit more chill in the house as io brings the cast together with a bopping saxophone performance as charlie brings the cast together with a bopping saxophone performance oh, okay wednesday. why are things wednesday changing for the real fireworks when Charlie and Milo, Beer and Alex sneak off for a little moment of self-reflection. For a little romantic time in the garden. For a wild fist fight. And by the end of the week, crowd favorite Emil, Priscilla, finally lets all their love and a little lust run free. Finally takes matters into their own hands. Finally goes down the success slide. The heck am I dealing with here? Do not miss this week in the Crush House. Uh, is this about ratings? Is this game about ratings? Again. 
I guess this game's about ratings. It's very Twilight Zone y. But a birthday isn't just about looking backwards, it's about considering the future. Sure, we've had some great times over the years, but who's to say the next years won't be even better? I know Volvi has so much more to offer us. Do you know what? Who knows I should think like that more. He's right. Perhaps something truly unexpected. Volvi finally gets a game. Maybe even a new genre. A rogue foo city builder. I made that up myself. A rogue like foo. That's a real thing, isn't it? Paced, inspired by martial arts movies set within the confines of a vast yet claustrophobic city dominated by vicious gangs. Each run is different depending on which of these crime syndicates you take down first. No, that's an actual game. Maybe even crafted by the talented Dead Cells designer Sebastian Bernard. Wow. Fantastic. Why is the... That's, the kind of that's his house. Play. Now that's the kind of game I would play. Now that's the kind of game I would play. That is a thing. I hope he's okay. Ooh. She looks cool. Is it 3D though? It's 80s! It's 80s art! Let's go! Yeah! This looks so cool! Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually pretty mint. It's a much. It's. I wanted to make like pixel art based on this like setup. She looks so cool. Tenjutsu. I like it. I love martial arts stuff. So yes. She is definitely waifu material. Of course, video games are not for everyone. Some people prefer to spend their time outside exploring the natural world. Why not or both? Watching their team win the big trophy. Yay. And to them, I say whatever works for you. We all have our passions. And if you're going to be passionate about something, then why not go all in? And hey, if you don't care about anything passionately, well then I feel sorry for you. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's important to be true to who you are. He's that the might kid. Sound easy, but a lot of people are just too afraid, too scared of being judged. He's the friend. To look in the mirror and say, "Yes, this is who I am." Not Can you I. see all of me? Talos Principle 2 is a puzzle adventure video game developed by Crow Team and published by Devolver Digital. <laughs> this a is a real... to the Talos Principle he's going to turn? I think he's going to turn. The game was released in November 2023 to critical acclaim. Maybe it doesn't need to the turn. The sequel builds on the first game's origin story of robot kind by exploring the newly emerged robotic civilization through the newborn eyes huh? of 1K. It has been described as thoughtful, heartfelt, and deeply moving. I just wish there was more. Road to Elysium is a three-part coda that allows you to dive deeper into the world of the Talos Principle 2. I feel like my entire stream when it comes to Devolver is just reactions to like it's just a series of faces. <laughs> like how much it changes. You return as 1K and enter Cerebi's mind to retrieve the shattered fragments of her personality. 
set in a gorgeous environment inspired by ancient Egypt, this expansion challenges you to solve puzzles unconventionally, giving Cerebi a second chance at life. Step into the Very shoes much. of Yakut and visit the Isle of the Blessed. Challenge yourself with a wide variety of never-before-seen puzzles using familiar tools, culminating in the hexahedron, a large, continuous puzzle cluster set in a mysterious crooked tower. Into the Abyss takes you on a journey through a dream world, full of the most challenging puzzles yet, taking place on a series of floating islands and shattered dreams. Road to Elysium continues the evolution of the robot world, providing you with a new perspective through a series of thought-provoking new stories. The police is here. Also, I feel like it's set in the UK, despite the fact that it's an American voice. I'm not going crazy, right? Sir, I uh, hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Yeah, yeah. No, no. We've had some complaints about some noise. I forgot that they are. One of your neighbors has described hearing strange sounds. <laughs> strange sounds. Maybe he's an American living in the UK. That would be my TV set. I, I like to keep my shows cranked. Uh, yeah, I like to get yeah. lost in, in the experience. Okay, maybe in future, keep your TV and any other devices at a reasonable volume. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of the law against noise pollution. I don't want to have to waste any more police time dealing with petty issues like this. Huh? 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 Wait, what? <laughs> oh yeah! This is the booting game. This is really dumb and I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Rage Racer. Rage Racer. Anger for. Yeah, I remember this. Are you okay, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Yeah, you know what? Uh, first thing. Tomorrow, I'm, I'm going to go around to everyone in the area. I'm going to make things right. Uh, a formal apology and uh, a card. <laughs> I don't think that's necessary, sir. Just keep the noise down. Yeah, I'm going to switch it off. Uh, a, a day with OTV would probably do me a world of good. <laughs> uh, OK, so uh, thank you, officer. Where'd you keep your TV, then? Hmm? Oh, um, I, I, I have a, a few just dotted around the place. Yeah, you know, like I said, I, I like to uh, immerse myself in the experience. So I think I might need to pop in, take a look around the place, if that's okay. Well, uh, I, I'm expecting uh, some guests now, so um, uh, perhaps another time would be more uh, appropriate. Sir? It's like I'm watching a, a drama. Oh, oh, oh that sound! That, that's, a, that's an old plumbing issue. But that's really, it's a matter for the landlord. So uh, I could just give him a call and, and he can fix it. Please. Officer. Nothing. Hello, police. Wait, that sounds like laughing. Resting heart rate is 
precisely 65 beats per minute. Rapid elevation is often attributed to stress. My heart, my heart machine, is an American independent video game development studio founded by Alex Preston. The studio is best known for developing Hyper Light Drifter 2016 and Solar Ash 2021. But rumors suggest that they may have another project on the way. Uh, it was Hyper Light. It may or may not feature a rich interconnected world built to be approached in many ways, non-linear, with emphasis on clear choice for where to go next. This purely hypothetical game's narrative balances the bleak reality of the characters with the <laughs> They brought him back. Humor. Oh, okay, so it's not the game I was thinking of. Man, games with high atmosphere really get to me like in terms of presentation possessors possessor -ers? possessor s It does look cool. I think he died. <laughs> I think he died. Look, the rinse biscuits. I have those. Oh, 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 uh huh. They have a tattoo machine just out here. He trapped Volvi. My son. Hey, thanks for the party, friend. I think he died. <laughs> I think he died. Buzzword. The economy is looking a little unstable. No, no, you can't do that. Don't turn all the money into toxic slime. We <laughs> need all that. You can't stop me from doing it, Mr. Banker. Well, you might ruin the money, but you can't break the spirit of the bankers. You don't get it, do you? <laughs> Nobody can 
can stop me now. Not even your precious... Goldie! Or what? No! Sorry we're late to the party, fish pig, but we didn't want to turn up empty-handed. <laughs> What the hell am I watching? I'm looking forward to just hanging out with my buddy. Who's up for a pizza at mine? I hypothesize a ham and pineapple slice or two. Sorry, friends, but I gotta get going. Huh? But Volvi? I've got to get back to the vol dimension. Volvinia. I've got a family to look after. And besides, pizza pie is greasy and gives me shit diarrhea. He's right, guys. No pizza tonight. Eating healthy is important. He trapped him. That's why. What do you mean goodie bag at Devolver Digital Direct? What's happening at Devolver Direct? What's the goodie bag? I think that's it. No, I want to know the goodie bag. Give me the bloody goodie bag. Virtual Volvi e-pet. In 1996, this, is this what it is? With it starring its beloved handheld mark. Being a fatal software error meant Volvi could not, uh, would not stop crapping and would eventually die from relentless buildup of his own stinking effluence. Uh, every pocket Volvi was recalled and destroyed, but early this year, Elite NetSurface discovered the software hidden deep in the dark web, which has now been emulated for your pleasure. This is the first time since 1996 that a pocket Volvi long thought lost has been playable. How long can you keep Volvi alive? Five minutes? An hour? Set the world record? Happy birthday, Volvi. I wonder if all these are real. Oh, no, they're all real. It's all real. It's all real. Told you it was something. Yeah, it sounds more like uh, Volvi... Volvi killed the guy because <laughs> he kept him from his dimension. So, it is 2.19. I was not expecting to go this long, honestly. Um, so, with that being said, thank you everybody that stuck around for the stream. I really do appreciate it. Uh, what was your highlights? Because...